Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you a mouse I've been using to edit and also trigger a lot of shortcuts in Adobe Audition. So here we are. This could be one mouse to rule them all. This is the Corsair Skimitar RGB Elite. Now, I use a lot of Corsair stuff already, so I was really excited to give this one a try. And the reason I really like it is because you can really customize the keys on the side. That's right, there are a total of 12 keys on the side here. This is absolutely insane. I thought when I first looked at a picture of it, this is never gonna work, this is gonna feel uncomfortable, but actually, it works extremely well. Here we are in Adobe Audition. And of course, to customize this mouse before I start editing, you'll need to go into the Corsair IQ software. You just download this from the Corsair website and any Corsair stuff you've got all appears here. And of course, I'm using the Skimitar RGB Elite. And you can simply go into the actions menu here and start adding your shortcuts. If you just change the view over here, you can look at those shortcut keys on the side. Very handy indeed. So this is how I've got mine set up. First of all, I'm going to look at button number one and I'm going to add an action and apply it to button number one. Simply record, this will be command or control C and that of course is copy. Once I've done that, I click this button here to delete the delay so it's instant and then I go ahead, click the plus button, select key number two and you'll guess it, yes, control V and then stop recording, delete the pauses and we've got copy and paste. Copy is on button number one and paste will be on button number two. OK, so I can go straight back into Adobe Audition and I can immediately try this out. I can highlight a little bit of that audio. I can hit button one there and then I can go to another track and I can hit button two and look at that without even needing to touch my keyboard. I'm already doing copying and pasting in Audition. Very handy, but we haven't finished there. Let's add in another macro. This is going to be for number three. And I'm going to add in something I do all the time, and this is splitting. So again, record, control, and K, and then stop recording, delete the delays. That's saved. Now I can go back to audition, and I can split a waveform using button number three anywhere I want. I can even select and hit button three, and boom. So I'm copying, I'm pasting, I'm splitting with ease. Let's go back to the IQ software from Corsair here, and we'll hit uh, the plus button, and we'll add in something on button four. Now on button four, I do a lot of deleting in Adobe Audition, so very simple record, hit the delete key on my keyboard, stop, get rid of delays, that's done. Let's go ahead and do number five, and for number five, let's add in the next action, make sure we select button five, record, it's just gonna be spacebar, which toggles the playback start and stop, I can do that from my mouse instead of running it from the keyboard, which is quite handy. And finally, for the moment, we'll go to button six. This is something I do a heck of a lot of. I'm going to hit the plus button here, select button six, record. It is control Z or Z if you prefer if you're the other side of the pond. Stop recording, delete. Uh, let's go back and test these functions now. So first of all, I've got delete. So if I want to get rid of this clip, I can just select it. Boom, gone. Select it. Boom, gone. That's button four. Playback. Yep, that's very easy. These are the eight. Easy, easy. Button five on there. And of course, if I didn't want to delete, then six, six, and it's pack. How cool is that? So really, really cool stuff. Uh, let's go and customize another row. This, uh, by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly the shortcuts I have for Adobe Audition on my Corsair Skimitar RGB Elite. So let's go ahead and hit plus. And we're going to go for button seven now. And it's a simple record and the M key. This is for markers that I want to place in the timeline. Very, very easy stuff. Add in another key. This is going to be button eight. And again, we'll record. Uh, now, this one is a really interesting one because I do it a lot from the keyboard. Record, Shift and D, and I'll show you what that does in a second. Delete the gaps there. Add in one more. This is going to be button nine right now. And for this one, we're going to record, and I'm going to hit Control, Shift, N, or it would be Command, Shift, N on a Mac. That is to start a new audio file. Let's try out those shiny hotkeys on the mouse. Uh, so of course, if I want to go ahead and add some markers in, I can do so really easy by reaching over. And the sort of left common shortcuts I'm putting uh, towards the back of the mouse because it's really easy for me to uh, reach buttons one to six. And then I have to kind of move my thumb back a little bit to get seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, which is not a problem for me. You can also use the screwdriver that comes with this mouse and actually reposition this if you prefer to reach the back buttons more. You can actually, it actually moves inside the mouse. It's really cool. Uh, so I've been placing markers, of course, which is really good. 
Uh, I can also go into waveform and then I can toggle on and off spectral frequency display by hitting button eight. If I want to start a new audio file rather than file new audio file, all of that stuff or control shift N, just hit button nine, boom, give it a name, mic, off we go with a brand new audio recording. And finally, let's customize the final strip using the IQ software. Again, simple plus under the actions tab here. This is going to be button 10. And for this, I'm going to have uh, some really cool stuff in here. Something I use again all the time, record, but it's awkward to hit it on the keyboard. Control, Alt, S or Command, Alt, S if you're on a Mac. Stop recording, delete the delays. That is save selection as. I can't tell you the number of times I finish uh, a multi-track recording here in Audition. Let's just mix down a tiny bit of it. Uh, so multi-track, mix down the time selection here. So I finished mixing this down. I've got lots and lots of jingles to send out to clients, uh, but I don't want to send the whole file. I want to save selections of that file. Maybe it's uh, many different voiceovers, many different jingles. Now I can simply select the file that I want to save, hit button 10 here, and then that saves the selection, just the highlighted portion, and I can give it a name. This is a bit <laughs> like that. So this is something I use all the time. And then back over to the IQ software, we're adding those final keys. Key number 11, this is going to be a simple save. Uh, so that will be Control or Command S like that. Delete those gaps. And then over here on button 12, let's add in that action here. Boom. And this will be Control Shift S. Whoops, I think I hit that twice. So let's delete all that and do it again. Control Shift S. Record, delete silences, delete silences. I'm feeling like Adobe Audition, delete the delays and uh, that's save as. So now back in over here and I can either just uh, save. So if I want to quickly save something, boom, I can save it. This is asking me to save as, as I haven't saved this yet. Uh, so let's save that. And then if I make a little edit and then I hit key 11, boom, it's saved immediately like that. And if I want to save it again as something else, button 12, the save as dialogue comes up. So let's recap all of those shortcuts that I've got up and running now in the IQ software, uh, which by the way is assigned to my default profile, but I can create a profile if I like for Adobe Audition here. I can even link it to the program by showing where the Adobe Audition software is on my computer. Uh, but back here, we've got buttons 1 to 12, so let's recap. Here in the multi-track, if I zoom in, I've got button 1, which is copy. So I can copy on button 1. I can paste, paste, paste using button 2. I can go ahead and trim my audio using button 3. If I want to delete that section, I can use button 4. If I want to play back... Blind, blind, blind Cafe presents... It's button 5. If I want to undo that delete, I can hit button six. If I want to place a marker, I can hit button seven here, here, and here, which is really cool. If I want my spectral frequency view on, it's button eight. And then spectral frequency off, it's button eight. Again, new audio file, that's button nine. Uh, here we go. If I want to save a selection, maybe just a part of this audio file, it's button 10. Save selection as. Very important, use that all the time in Audition. If I want to uh, save the file, so I want to go in and save this file, I can save that, save it as Mike. Uh, I make a little edit, whatever happens there, save again, it's button 11, and then save as is button 12. All of my shortcuts are right here on the side of the mouse. Very, very handy stuff. I do a whole lot of this in Adobe Audition, and traditionally I use the keyboard shortcuts, but now it can all be done on the mouse. Uh, very happy, been using it a couple of weeks, the Corsair Skimitar RGB Elite. Obviously, the RGB lights add to the fact that it's a really awesome looking mouse. It feels nice and ergonomic in the hand as well. Good old scroll wheel, uh, which is very nice indeed. So really, really like using this mouse to do all of those different shortcuts. You can reassign them, assign them to different bits of software. Very, very handy uh, for someone like me who doesn't want to use the keyboard. And one last ninja tip here in Audition, if you go to the edit menu, you go to keyboard shortcuts here. You can also hit Alt key K on your keyboard. You can see all the shortcuts available to you in Audition. You can also see the control shortcuts, the shift shortcuts, the Alt shortcuts. So if you're looking for something specific, you can find all of those. You can even search. So if I wanted to assign mix down, uh, let's write that in correctly. I can then find uh, the mix down. There we go. Multi-track mix down all to new file. It hasn't got a shortcut. I could assign a key to it and then go ahead to my IQ software 
put that very same key right there in the IQ software and make it all sync up. So a brilliant way of using shortcuts entirely from your mouse. Music Radio.